Smith Williams, Miss Howard 2020 2021, with this week's Wednesday's word about Howard history. While strides were made by individuals to benefit black students, segregation remained the norm in Delaware education in the 1950s. Even with quality education provided at Howard, the state failed to provide buses for black students, while white students were provided with adequate transportation. African American students from all over the state would travel to Wilmington, living with relatives or friends in order to go to school. It was not until the 1950s that this socially accepted practice was challenged by students in the state, eventually resulting in a Supreme Court decision which declared segregation unconstitutional. In the 1950s, parents of black students in the state of Delaware sued to enroll their students in the local white schools. The cases of Belton versus Gephardt and Beulah versus Gephardt targeted both elementary and secondary segregation. The cases of Belton versus Gebhardt and Beulah versus Gebhardt, a decisive moment in Delaware's history, were argued by Lewis L. Redding. Lewis L. Redding was Delaware's first African-American lawyer and a Howard alumnus. The cases would eventually make it to the U.S. Supreme Court and become one of five in the landmark Brown versus Board of Education. Howard High School, as a result, is one of the schools directly associated with the decision that found racial segregation in public schools unconstitutional. When asked, are there Delawareans like Rosa Parks? Littleton Mitchell, a Delaware NAACP member and 1939 Howard graduate, responded, Yes, Louis L. Redding. Every single person in Delaware ought to know about him. Every child, not just black, not just white, they should know that every time they are in school, sit in a restaurant, or at a hotel, it is because of Louis L. Redding. This has been your Wednesday's Word about Howard history. My name is Dawn Dickerson, a proud Howard graduate, class of 1984.